Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This video is going to be different because today I'll be ranking the characters of Love is Blind Season 2. So I could I never did the first season, but after watching the second one and seeing these people, let's just get started. Let's start off, I'm going to start off with someone I don't really care about, <laughs> which sounds rude, but whatever. So, I'm going to start off with Danielle. I'm pretty sure that's her name is. Danielle. Um, she was a little... She was very insecure. I can't even lie. Like, when um when she was sick in the hotel and... Um, what's his name? Whatever her husband's name is. <laughs> when he was out on the beach and she was like, I saw you talking to those girls. And he's like, what? Like... I mean, I understand why she's insecure because... She obviously said, you know, she lost weight and, you know, she don't want people to treat her differently and stuff like that. But, like, you don't even have no trust in him. Like, and trust me, he's not talking to no girls. So, I'm going to rate her at B. Just because uh, I don't really care about her, but I don't hate her. So, she's someone I don't really care about and someone I don't hate. That's also how I feel about her husband. Is this him? Yeah about her husband i don't really care about him and i don't hate him like when they got married i was a little surprised because i feel like she still didn't trust him that much but they ended up getting married so whatever congratulations congratulations to them there were a couple that i didn't really care about they like they were a safe couple for real so i'm getting the boring people out the way like they was boring me they ain't bring that much drama. i'm gonna get into jared i'm gonna get into jared so Jared, I didn't like Jared because how are you going to choose Ayana when Mallory said no, she wasn't going to marry you? Like you literally got on your knee and proposed to this girl. And when she said no, you really was crying. Like you was bawling. We saw you was bawling in the room, crying. <laughs> then try to propose to Ayana. Like she's your second choice. I don't like that. Like he's like, oh, well, Mallory said no, but Ayana probably said yes. Like no. Then he kept a gift from his ex. That's weird. Who does that? Who does that? If your ex gives you a gift and you literally have a fiance, you shouldn't be keeping that gift. That's how I feel. And that's how Ayana felt too. He didn't tell none of his family who are very traditional. He went on a show to get married in 10 days. What? I mean, to get... To propose to someone in 10 days and get married in two. So, I'm going to rank Jared. Hmm, where should I rank him? Because I really don't like how she he made him her second choice. I'm going to put him at C. Because he's not the worst, but I really do not like that. Like, everybody that watched the show. I don't know how many people watched the show, but I know it was a lot of people who watched the show. Saw that you made her your second choice. And then, okay, I want to now I'm, I'm ready to get in your butt. Because why would you... Why would you marry him knowing you the second choice? The difference between if you know you're the second choice versus if you don't know. If you don't know, you're blind. Literally blind. To being his second choice. Okay, I understand. But you know he chose Mallory. You know he chose Mallory first and she denied him. If Mallory would have said yes, you wouldn't be on the show anymore. Like, that would have been in my head. If Mallory would have said yes, I would not be on the show anymore. Because there's nobody else I had a connection with. And he proposed to her first. He kept making comments about Mallory's ring and stuff like that. Like, you still wanted her. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like... Ayana, he right in front of you making comments about her ring and flirting with her. And you just gonna still marry him? Imagine. Then you an introvert. So you an introvert, he's an extrovert. Imagine, I'm sorry to say this, but if he right in front of your face, flirting with somebody he almost, he proposed to you, he, ready, he gonna flirt with people he don't even know. He's gonna flirt with people he don't even know. And you still married him. Just because I like you, I'm gonna put you at B. Like, you're with them. If I didn't like you, though, you'll be at C or D with Jared. Or below him. Or not below him. You'll probably be with Jared, most likely. With your husband. 
So Mallory, first of all, Mallory, Mallory, she never, she didn't really stand out to me, but, um, with Jerry, I understand why she said no, because she felt like she had a big connection with Sal, which I didn't, I don't feel like the show really showed their connection or whatever. We was just going off word of mouth, like what they were saying about each other. So I'm like, okay. Versus, like, people who actually had a connection was on last season. Like, these people on this season, I don't feel like they really had a connection versus last season. Like, Lauren and, and Cameron, of course, I'm going to hold them up there because, yeah. Yeah, um, Mallory, she didn't really stand out to me. She wasn't drama at all, other than, you know, the love triangle. And, first of all, she, when Jared made that little comment, he was being shady. First of all, let me go back to Jared. How you gonna make that comment about her ring was like, oh, you, but you wanted a gold ring. I would've got you that. Um, She's a fiancé. You don't, and you had your fiancé right, right over there and standing with her fiancé. Why are you trying to, like, what are you doing? One thing about Jared, when Sal pressed him, he straight lied. Like, he straight lied. He straight said, oh, no, when I made that comment, it wasn't nothing like that. I wasn't trying to do it like, oh, I would have did this. That's exactly what you said, word for word, bar for bar. You said, I would have got you a gold ring. I would have got you a gold ring. That's what you said. Like, that's how I knew. I really hope Sal knew at that point that he was lying. Because if he wasn't lying, you would have never brung up that example. Because that's literally what you said. You could have just been like, yeah, I said that. Then what? Out of him. And, like, he's going to watch the show back and see that you lied. Like, but Mallory, like I said, I don't really hate her. And I didn't really like her. She just like, whatever. So, I'm going to put her in B. Because... Yeah. So now I'm gonna go to Sal. Like I said, I was proud of Sal when he pressed Jared because what you thought this was? He's not he's not no punk. He straight said, Yeah, oh what you say? And then Jared straight lied. But I like Sal, I like how he kept pressing Mallory too about it. Because she kept trying to play it off like it wasn't a big thing. When in, in reality it was a big thing. Like even though you said no to him, he still wanted you, and you fed into that. That's why I'm happy Sal said no. I'm not ready to marry you. I was surprised, though. I was surprised, and I was happy, because the way the show kept trying to make a scene was like they was really into each other when the whole time, though, nobody felt like they was really into each other. Like, me watching them, I'm like, mm, I don't really care. I really doubt it, because y'all not even showing them, like, really into each other. Y'all keep showing him singing every five seconds. That don't mean they really into each other. That mean he just singing. Sal, I don't know. I like Sal. So I'm going to rank him in A. I like how he pressed Jared, because he could have easily been scared about it. But no, I like how he pressed Jared. What's his name again? I keep wanting to call him Mark, because of he, him and Shayna. What is his name? Kyle. Kyle and Shayna, they were the Mark and Jessica this season. Um, he's short like Mark. <laughs> they have dark hair. Both is pretty built, like, up here. They look, like, they don't look the, the same in the face, but they have the same, like, hair and body built. So it's like, oh. And then Shayna is a blonde, skinny, white girl. Mark and Jessica. Mark, Mark was pretty cool, like. Other than, oh, I keep calling him Mark. Oh, my God. <laughs> See, that's what I'm saying. But, anyways, Kyle was cool. Other than him keep saying, oh, my God. He said something about his mother. Just like Mark. Mark used to stay saying, I love my mom. I love my mom. He said something. You remind me of my mom. He said that to Shana in the parts. I was like, mm. And it's funny, too, because Jessica didn't want to marry Mark. Just like Shana didn't want to marry Kyle. Yeah, Mark was cool for the most part. I understand why he was upset, though, but when he met Shayna's parents, I keep calling him Mark. Kyle, when Kyle met Shayna's parents, and they was like, so you, are you a God-fearing man or something? I don't know what they asked him. He was like, what? He was all like, I don't know. You could just tell production crew edited the video, the, um, the show, for it to look like it was really awkward. You can just tell it was really awkward. Like, her mother was looking at her like, girl, you don't, what? What are you doing? 
her mama was in her her mama probably give her a long talk after that because what are you doing if you want someone that has the same faith as you first of all my thing is you should have been said something about that in the parts you knew he was an atheist you still say you're gonna marry him and you took him out to your family and and I feel bad for him about that part, though. Because they was like, it was embarrassing. I felt bad. I was like, damn, if I was there, I would have been hella embarrassed. Kyle, as a person, he was cool. So, I'm going to just put him at B. He wasn't my favorite, but I didn't hate him. I hated how Shayna did him. So, let's get into Shayna. First of all, if you still wanted Shane, you should have never said yes to... You should have never said yes to Kyle. I'm going to call him Mark again. I'll call myself. You should have never said yes to Kyle. You should have said, you should have really tried to press down on Shane. Like, Natalie, she was pressing down from day one. She was like, yeah, that's my man. No, you want to you wanted be talking to everybody else, which is obviously the point of the show, to see whoever you had the strongest connection with. But when the time came, you was already too late. So, and then when she tried to when she, first of all after she told kyle she was gonna marry him blah 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 they met up whatever and she came back to like the beach i don't know where they was at they were somewhere i don't know where they was at some type of barbecue thing i think and she came back and she was all like your relationship is fake you don't even like her blah 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 blah, blah. and then she gonna try to tell natalie she's trying to say oh um i got i got somebody for you if y'all don't work out first of all you are a snake like you're a snake let's just like is nobody in there that will press her about that but if amber from season one was there she would have straight got in her butt you you gonna how you gonna tell her you got somebody for her if y'all don't work out but you want shane just go to shane and tell him you want her you want him like you're being childish and then the reunion she's getting on there she got saying yeah i understand that i did this i understand i should have did this do you really? Why would? Why did you say yes to Kyle? I still don't understand. What went through your head? Did you really think y'all would make it? Like, it's like you wasted time for real. That's why I feel like you was wasting time. You too grown for this. So Shana, you're gonna, you're going down there. You're at D. Cause I didn't like that and I didn't appreciate that at all. But like, Shane is already has. A, Shane already has a fiance. And for you to try to fake be cool with Natalie, like you're a snake. How you try to fake be cool with her, then go and tell Shane, oh, y'all relationship is fake. Da, 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 you don't even like her. Like, obviously, you want him. Like, you're fake. You want to know girls that's like, they'd be cool with somebody just to get close to their boyfriend. She's one of those girls. That's why I'm like, yeah, no. No. That's why I was happy when I was watching the interviews and then it was like, yeah, we're not friends. Good, because she couldn't be a friend of you. So next, we only have four people left. Next, I'm gonna do Natalie. I really like Natalie. She was obviously, obviously, I like Natalie. How hard I was just rooting for her about Shayna and them. Um, I'm so happy she said no to Shane. It really looked like he didn't expect it too. He said like she was like, "Oh, we need to talk about your 401k." And he was like, "I don't, I don't believe in that. How you don't believe in a retirement fund?" But okay. But I'm happy because, like, y'all, like, yeah, y'all probably was, it probably was fun to hang out with each other and be around each other. But, like, when it comes to serious stuff like that, like, when you're married, you have to worry about something like that. Yeah, it wouldn't work. So, which I'm happy she said no. Um, Natalie up here. Okay. But, so, yeah, Natalie goes all the way to the top at us. I think she, yeah, I feel like she deserved it. Next, I'm gonna do Deep D. Deep D, she was really cool. I'm so happy she said no to um Shake because, first of all, I'm happy. And then I didn't know people was telling her what he was saying about her, but I'm happy they was because what is wrong with you? Why are you telling people this? But why why are you even letting this leave your mouth, escape your mouth? Like I liked her wedding dress too. It was really cute. And I like the henna she had too. And I'm so happy she said no because she chose herself just like Natalie. That's why Aditi's going up there with Natalie because they both chose herself. They both had two people who was so who was horrible who would not have made them happy. Like, you know, when people get married, nobody gets married to um divorce because what's the point of getting married? She's, a, she's my favorite character as well because she didn't do anything to nobody. And the fact that Shake was really trying to like 
he was basically talking shit about her. Okay, Shane. When I first saw Shane, I thought, this man is unhinged. He looks like he will kill his whole family and then sit down and eat a bowl of cereal in the same room all that bodies in. He looked like the actor that played the on the movie Jane and Dick. Oops, I put, I put, I'll put a picture of him. He looks like him. Ain't what I didn't like about Shane. First of all, you caught Natalie, Shayna. You said, oh, I wanted to talk to her. What you mean you wanted to talk to her? You could have said that in here. You don't sit out loud and she could hear you. Oh, I wanted Shayna, not you. Then he gaslighted Natalie. I forgot exactly what he said, but he gaslighted her. And he did it again. I I'm happy that Vanessa and Nick rung it up at the reunion because he really did gaslight her. I'm like, why do she keep apologizing? I don't know what fight y'all had the day before y'all got married. But he and he gonna say, I hate you. You the worst thing ever happened to my life or something like that. What? The night the day before you get married? <laughs> the night before you get married? You thought she was gonna walk to the altar and be like, Yes? Are you crazy? He looks so shocked. No, why would she say yes? You literally just told her last night you hated her. And Shane gives the vibes of people who like it's like people who peak in high school but he didn't peak in high school he gives the vibes of someone who peaked in college because as soon as i saw him he gave frat bro vibes the way he talked the way he act but he even look frat bro yeah you suck at baseball and he was on the baseball team so i know you're embarrassed and that's what you get so you're going in d with Shayna. so you guys are together finally next we have she we in the pods the whole goal of love is blind <laughs> is to not be able to see whoever it is on the other side of that wall so y'all can actually establish a connection before you see the physicals. He over there asking people, oh, do you work out? Um, would I be able to carry you? How much do you weigh? Sir, well, you're, like, you're shallow. You're superficial because... Why are you asking that when literally the point is to not know that stuff? He when they was when they was in Mexico, he gave Sal his drink like Sal was a, a waiter or something. Oh, I didn't even catch that when I first watched the show, but when I saw that clip, I was like, who did he think he is? Then he tried to say at the reunion, oh, I didn't want it to be like more like love is blind. I wanted to be more like love is blurry. What? Try to play it off at the wedding thing like, oh, this doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter. Like, you know you hurt. I know you hurt because she just embarrassed you in front of everybody. And you're not used to that. She just embarrassed you in front of everybody. And you're not used to that. Then you try to say, she reminds me of my aunt. She told He told somebody that. I'm like, yo, she reminds me of your aunt? Is it because I, not the only reason why I feel like he said that? First of all, he, he said he only dated white girls. He never dated an Indian girl, a brown girl. So I'm like, so obviously the only reason why he's saying that is because she's Indian, just like him. He still was going to get married to her. So you was going to marry your aunt? If she reminded you of your aunt so much, you was going to marry your aunt. I just wanted to stay on the show for as long as possible. That's what I'm convinced about. Even though nobody likes you, and I doubt anybody's gonna follow you. Cause if she was, I feel like if she was any other race, he would never said that. Especially if she was white. He was just very cringy. I really did not like Shake. I don't think anybody did. If you like Shake, comment down below and tell me why you liked him. Cause you must see something that nobody else sees. He's obviously been in D with Shane and Shayna. Like. These were the three worst people of the show this season, in my opinion. And that was my tier ranking of the Love is Blind crew, well, cast of season two. If you guys have any comments, if y'all have any rebuttal, if y'all have anything else to say in the, in the comments, y'all could just leave it down below. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe down below for more.